How to add Google Analytics to Redbubble. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add Google Analytics to Redbubble. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Google Analytics and Bubble, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Google Analytics, it is a powerful web analytics service offered by Google that helps businesses, organizations, and website owners track and analyze the performance of their website and applications, in which it collects data on user behavior such as the number of visitors, session duration, bounce rate, traffic sources, and the devices or location users come from. Well, aside from Google Analytics, the Redbubble, on the other hand, is a global online marketplace that connects independent artists with customers looking for a unique and creative products. And the platform allows artists to upload their original designs, which can be then printed on a wide range of items such as clothing, stickers, home decor, phone cases, stationery, and accessories. So from here, you can start searching on the Google Analytics and click here the first link. And you will be directed in this page, and you can start signing in your Google Analytics account. And from here, to start adding a Google Analytics to Redbubble, the first thing that you need to do is to simply click here, this button, Get Tagging Instructions, under the home page. By clicking this button, you will automatically be directed in here. And to start creating first a Google account or Google Analytics account in here, all you need to do is simply go to this page and simply click the Create button on the top left and click Account. And once done, for the account creation, just fill out all of this required information, including this account details, such as your new account name. So from here, since we're trying to create here a Google account for Redbubble, I'm going to enter my Redbubble in here. And once done, you could also check some of the boxes indicate that you agree to the Google products and services. Now, the other one or the other section is under property creation. From here, you can simply enter the property name and even choose your currency in here depending on your preferences or in your country and also your time zone and selected country in here. So once filling out the create property option in here, just click the next button to be directed in here under business details where you need to enter the industry category and also the amount of employee working in your specific business or industry so let's i'm going to choose here this one and click next button once done under business objectives all you need to do is to check some of those business objectives that you have i'm going to check randomly and click create and on this pop-up window just simply check the boxes indicate that you agree to the terms of service and condition and also check this boxes for measurement controller data protection and click i accept and once done, under the data collection, it will show you that you can choose a platform either web or even using the app. For the web URL, just simply enter here the stream name and also the website URL. But I'm going to skip this for now and click continue to home. So from here, all we need to do is simply copy the tracking ID which are needed in order to paste on the Redbubble account settings under the Google Analytics there. So at this point, all we need to do is to simply look or find the tracking ID from Google Analytics in here. And the reports option in Google Analytics in here serve as the main area where users can view, analyze, and interpret the data collected from their website or app. And its purpose is to simply transform raw tracking information, such as page views, section clicks, and conversions. Well, in here, the Explore option in Google Analytics is designed to give us user an advanced, customizable, and detailed insight beyond the standard reports. So the purpose of this is to let you dig deeper into your data by building tailored explorations, visualizations, and segment comparisons to better understand user behavior and performance trends. With Explore, you can use a technique like funnels analysis, but analysis segment overlaps cohort analysis and user lifetime analysis to uncover patterns that aren't immediately visible in pre-built reports. And now to look for the tracking ID, all we need to do is simply click the admin settings in here on the left side panel. By clicking on it, it will show us in here a variety of options to choose from, but we can see it under this account details. 
However, if you still hasn't seen the tracking ID under the admin details or account details in here, since maybe it's the old version under the tracking info or tracking code, you could also see it under this admin gear icon. However, it is under the property column in here where you can start selecting the data streams. So in here on the left side panel, kindly simplify under the property settings or data collection and modification these data streams in here. By simply clicking the data streams under this property, you'll automatically see it. So from here, kindly click add stream in order to add a new one. And in here, make sure to choose web and simply paste here on this pop-up window upon clicking yes, this website URL of your Redbubble and also the stream name in here. Upon doing so, for example, I'm going to enter redbubble.com and also the website. So this is basically the sample of it upon clicking on it. It will show us in here the measurement ID on the right side panel, which is also known as the tracking ID. And after that, we can simply paste it under the account settings of our Redbubble account. And under this artist tools, you should see here the Google Analytics option, where we can paste this directly in order to add Google Analytics to Redbubble. And after that, if you go to the report section under the Google Analytics, you should be able to see here all of the insights and the reports data of your Redbubble website, including the number of users who has been signed in, their location, and even the corresponding other details in here. And the importance of adding Google Analytics to a Redbubble shop is important because it provides artists with a deeper insights into how customers is covered in interact with their store beyond the basic sales data that Redbubble offers. And with Google Analytics, artists can track where their traffic comes from, whether through research engines, social media, or direct links, allowing them to identify which marketing strategies are most effective. And also it helps to measure visitor behavior such as how long customers stay on the product pages, what design attract the most attention, and where potential buyers drop off before completing a purchase. And all of this insight can guide artists in improving product listing, refining promotional efforts, and even making data-driven decisions at increased visibility and in sales. In short, Google Analytics empowers Redbubble sellers to better understand their audience, optimize their shop, and even grow their creative business more strategically. And also beyond traffic, Analysis, Google Analytics allows artists to set goals and monitor conversion rates, making it easier to measure the effectiveness of promotional efforts. But overall, this is basically how you can add Google Analytics to Red Bubble. Thank you.